I am very interested in knowing more about the parents of some of the other avatars. Now, we know a lot about Korra's parents because they're Tonrock and Senna. Tonrock was from the Northern Water Tribe. His father was the chief of the Northern Water Tribe, and he would have been the chief of the North as well, except for the fact that Unalak paid some criminals to attack the Northern Water Tribe, and then Tonrock chased after the criminals and uh, destroyed the Spirit Force, and... The spirits attacked, and of course this was all an elaborate ruse by Unalak to basically kick Tonrock out of the Northern Water Tribe, and Tonrock got blamed for the attack, and he was banished. But anyway, we all know the story. And so Tonrock ended up going to the south, where he became the leader of the Southern Water Tribe, and his wife Senna, and the two of them, they had Korra. Now, with Avatar Kiyoshi's parents, her mother was a air nomad who turned into a criminal, and her father was also an Earth Kingdom criminal. And they went around committing crimes together, and they left Kiyoshi in the village. And so, yeah, we know about Korra's parents and Kiyoshi's parents. And Aang's parents. Well, we see them in a flashback. We see Avatar Aang's parents in a flashback when Aang and Roku are talking, and Roku is showing Aang's life. I mean, excuse me, Roku is showing his own life to Aang. And more on Roku later, but with Aang's parents, they were air nomads, obviously. And we see them very briefly, but not much after that. So, I mean, I'm assuming the Air Nomads are not very close to their parents. They're just close to all the nuns and monks, and they don't want them to form too much of a personal attachment, I would assume. Avatar Yang Chen, uh, we don't know much about her parents, anything about her parents, except for the fact that they were also Air Nomads, like Avatar Aang. Avatar Kurok's parents... Um, more on them. I mean, and this Earth Avatar, this guy, we don't know anything about him, so we don't have any information on the parents either. Avatar Sito. Now, Avatar Sito what served as basically a Fire Nation bureaucrat because the Fire Nation was falling apart and not doing very well. It was doing terribly while well. he was the Avatar, so Avatar Sito focused on the Fire Nation. And sure, his parents could have been wealthy Fire Nation uh, aristocrats, but, I mean, we don't know that. We don't have any information on that, so whatever um who knows avatar wan's parents we don't know anything about them my guess is they probably were not very well off avatar kuruk avatar kuruk i mean did all of his status come avatar kuruk has this very entitled sense of um this sense of entitlement and he's very uh full of himself has a huge ego and so my guess is that was probably a personality trait he picked up long before he was even told he was the avatar. He he probably he probably um grew up with that sense of entitlement, which leads me to believe he was probably a very wealthy person in the Northern Water Tribe. His parents must have been very rich. Um they must have been very rich figures in the Northern Water Tribe for him to have developed this personality. Again, this is just a prejudice, but I'm assuming that Avatar Kirk's parents were just wealthy people in the Northern Water Tribe. So. Now, finally, Avatar Roku. Avatar Roku, his parents were most definitely incredibly wealthy people in the Fire Nation. Because, think about it. Only the children of incredibly wealthy and well-connected and powerful people would be playing would be, be playing with the members of the royal family only incredibly wealthy powerful people from powerful families from very rich powerful families only those kinds of people would get to be friends with the crown prince of the fire nation because avatar roku was friends with fire lord sozin prince sozin sozin and roku were really tight and they for starters, they even celebrated their birthday together. Like, sure, it's one thing to have um, a birthday party. Like, it's one thing to have the same birthday as the prince, but to have the same birthday party as the prince, like you and the prince of the entire nation get to celebrate your birthday together. Like, come on, like, that's just so... That's so privileged. So the point is, Avatar Roku... Must have had some really, really rich parents, really well connected and rich parents. And to buttress my point, um, May May was the daughter of 
Lucano and um, I forget her mother's name, but yeah, May's father, remember? May's father was named the governor of New Omashu, excuse me, New Ozai, which used to be Omashu. So May came from a very rich family, very powerful parents, and her uncle was the warden of the Boiling Rock Fire Nation prison, the top prison in the Fire Nation. So that's one of the reasons why May was able to hang out with Princess Azula. Because if May had not been the child of such wealthy parents and such a wealthy uncle and all that, there's no way May would have been able to step foot near Princess Azula. So the connections and the wealth and the privilege and the family that they have really, you have really matters. So Avatar Roku obviously had some very rich, wealthy, powerful parents in the Fire Nation. And that's why. And that's a definitive assumption we can make based on the fact that he was friends with Fire Lord Sozin. So again, we don't have much information on the Avatar parents in the for the past Avatars. Um, it'd be interesting to know more, but of course, first we would have to learn more about the past Avatars. Now next, we have a video on Sozin's parents.